Hello! In this tutorial, I will be showing you how you can find the inverse of a matrix by using row operations. And I will be showing you how you can easily do that using Python. Let's first have a look at what finding the inverse of a matrix can do for us. Imagine that there are two schools who are, en who are enemies against each other. The first school ordered boys' uniforms and girls' uniforms for one of their classes and another one of their classes. And here are the numbers of uniforms they ordered for each class. 39 boys' uniforms and 55 girls' uniforms for class 1. And here we have the numbers for class 2. The, pr the prices for boys' uniforms and girls' uniforms are listed here. So for year one, these are our prices, and for year two, there was a bit of inflation, so these are our prices. The total amount school one spent on boys' and girls' uniforms for class one and class two on year one and year two, so we are assuming that they bought the same amount for year one and year two. We multiply these two matrices. So O, which stands for order, times P, which stands for price. Here we get the cost for the uniforms in two years. Now, one day, the principal of school two came to have a look at school one. School one does not want school two to find out how much the boys' and girls' uniforms cost. So, when the principal of school 2 came, that information was covered. But the, the principal of school 2 can still see how much school 1 spent in total for the uniforms and how much they ordered in total. How will the principal of school 2 find the price of boys and girls uniforms for both year 1 and year 2? We know that O times P equals to C. Now, the inverse of O times O times P should equal to the inverse of O times C. So this is like an equation. We each side times the inverse of O, which is like 1 over O. That way, these two will cancel out. And we get P equals to the inverse of O times C. Now, how will we find the inverse of a matrix? Over here, I have these two, I have this simpler matrix, so I can explain it simply to you. I store it in this A, I, which stands for unit matrix, equals to this matrix here. The unit matrix is, is a square matrix that has ones going around, going diagonally like this and the rest of them are zeros. So if we have a three by three matrix, there will be one, one, and one, and the rest of them will be zeros. Unit matrix is similar to number one. If we have a one times one matrix, the unit matrix for it, for it equals to one, like this. Now, now we find the inverse of this matrix. Over here, I have this unit matrix. This will, you know, this, with this, we will have a record of how we are manipulating this matrix. First, for, first, on row two, I each, I each number add row, the row one times negative two. So, the reason I'm doing this is that I want this, I want to change this side of the matrix to the unit matrix. So, over here, to do that, first I want to change this to a zero, because in a unit matrix, this should be one, this should be zero, this should be zero, this should be one. To change this to a zero, over here I times negative two, and this one should also times negative two, because we should do the same thing and then add it to this row. So for every number in this row, I times negative two and add it here. This is the result. 
Now I want to change this three into a zero. This time, for every number in this row, I times negative three and add it to the first row. So we get the result over here. Finally, I want to change this two into a one. To do that, each for each number in the first row, I times a half. So we have here, and this is what we get. Here we have this matrix converted into a unit matrix, and our record shows that over here we get the inverse of this matrix. If we want to find the inverse of this matrix, then we will get this one. So a inverse equals to this. Now let's check if it's correct. We know that a times the inverse of a should equals to the unit matrix. So let's try this times this. Over here we have the formula for times in two matrices, and it equals to the unit matrix. Now let's have a look at our Python program. First, over here. In a previous video, I explained the NumPy module. We can use NumPy to to define these matrices. Over here, I have the order matrix. So it's the amount school one ordered for class one and class two, and boys and girls uniforms. C, which stands for, oops, let me see. This should be P, and this should be C. Sorry about that. Price equals to this matrix. Oops, is correct. The cost equals to this matrix, and we want to find the price. Here I have O inverse. This is a variable I defined. This will be the inverse of O. To get the inverse of any matrix in Python, all we have to do is call numpy dot linear algebra dot inverse. And in these brackets, I pass in the matrix. Price equals to over here. I have numpy dot matmo. This will return the multi the multiplied of these two matrices, and I print the price. Let's run it. Here we get the price for the uniforms for year one and year two. Now. We can we can find the inverse of any of any matrix with this. So let's see. Over here, I have O equals to this matrix, and let's try having a three by three matrix. So it will be hard to find this using a pencil and paper. Now let's print O inverse. Here we get the inverse of that matrix, and let's see if we add. Now I have a four by four matrix. Here we have the inverse of that matrix. This is the end of this tutorial. If you have, if you have any questions, requests, suggestions, or comments, please leave them down in the comment section below. Please subscribe to my channel, Nets Edu. I upload a new video every day. Today is January twenty seventh, two thousand twenty. Please hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.